right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these divinity, these divine tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful Moonology series. And y'all, I'm losing count, but I think this is episode six, maybe? I pray so. I hope so. Anyway, if not, you see it in the title, whatever number we own. Before we get all into it, y'all, um, it should go without saying, please check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice the spirit has for you within the reading or readings. Keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you and that's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know, right? Use your free will and discernment because only you know your life. I promise you, you will never be led astray. I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting because you tried to force the shoe to fit when it didn't. All right. Keep in mind, too, that when I call out dates, <clears throat> excuse me, when I call out dates, times and even signs, I am utilizing Eastern Standard Time. And that may vary for you wherever you are in the world. OK, so, you know, do your due diligence, do your own research. If you want to know the specific time, it still is going to affect you some shape, form or fashion, whether, you know, even if it's not the actual sign or what have you. Right. Because the energy still affects the world as a collective overall. OK, um, I just wanted to clarify that in case you, you know, you are one who is aware and like, yeah, no, <laughs> it's not Gemini or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw out something. Um, but yeah, so that is why that is what I'm going off. That's what I'm basing, um, my notes and research off, off of. Okay. Let's see what else I need to say. Also, you know, if you are new, we don't subscribe to gender roles over here. I mean, I will still say he, she just in reference to masculine and or feminine energies. We all have them both within us. So it really truly doesn't matter, but, um, you may flip flop yourself. Roles may be reversed, you know, whatever, what have you. Okay. I am big on numerology, whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it maybe to resonate with your life path number, the day or month you were born possibly, could even be talking about the house you want to pay particular attention to and the energy or the sign they're in that's in your natal chart, all right? Let's see. I think that's all that I really need to say. It's the same old spiel, y'all, but, you know, I feel the need to go through it mainly for the newbies, so... Like I said, check the description box. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right. All right. As it states also, I don't know if I said this already, but as it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Now, I just want to point this out because I know, you know, somebody is going to be some jackrabbit out there. Who I'm, being. I'm not trying to talk about you. I promise I'm not. I'm just stating facts. Somebody out there going, you know, be the, the smart ass to say, um, you know, the, the moon is in this particular sign or, you know, on this particular day, blase, blase, like it doesn't matter y'all. Like it could be high vibes and high time around that specific date, but time is essentially made up, right? There is no such time, no such thing as time in the spirit realm. And so, um, it's really just talking about the energy because this could have already played out in your life. That's why I say what I say in the beginning, it could, be occurring right now depending on when you're watching it and you're right now it ain't got to be on that particular date that we're talking about right um and it could also play out in the future or maybe a prophetic message like i said to come right so just please keep that in mind yeah i don't know i'll be feeling the need to really say that but i mean i i obviously am um when i give dates i'm basically i'm kind of 
kind of sort of using chronology really just to keep things in order i guess um and that's just how it's coming through on our calendar so there you go <laughs> all right that's why i gotta give these disclaimers i don't know because there'd be some people out there who really don't know so <clears throat> uh, let's see uh i think that's it oh no it's not <laughs> without being redundant but i guess i have to because again for the those of you who are new or if you are even new to this series we are utilizing the main decks are the moonology and the queen of the moon oracle these will be like your header and finishers if you will when i reference them um we're using the moonology to mainly give a overall idea of what the energy is about or what the advice is about coming from spirit and then um, the finisher will be like the wrap up of maybe advice um, and the energy to go forth or grow on or grow through or grow with. Right. Whatever. These will be pretty consistent throughout the entire series, as you will see. The variable will be the tarot. But this month I'm still utilizing the herb crafters tarot. And honestly, I'm so drawn to that. I feel like it's perfect. Right. For this for this series anyway, because um, my intents and purposes for how I bring forth the messages of guidance are more for healing. Um, holistic health is my is my forte. So that's what I do. And this, the, I feel like this deck is perfect. Plus, it's just been calling me right <clears throat> as an herbalist myself, and as a um, I don't know whatever you want to call it. I just heard witch doctor. I heard shaman. So if you are all inclusive of one of those, just overall healer, like I don't really care for titles, but healer is the best if you want to use anything. Um, this is an, an amazing deck because not only does it, you know, break down the herbs, tell you about the history of the herbs a little bit and give you even um, recipes or like things that you can make for tinctures, salves, you know, so forth and so on it's a it's it's just a beautiful it's a bible almost right um for herbs and um oh and another thing that you will see linked below is because when we get to the queen of the moon deck um they give crystals or stones that you can utilize with that energy you know you'll see what i'm talking about i am using a speaking of bible <laughs> it's a um crystal healing um guide if you will but it, like I said, it's listed below in case you're interested and you can look it up. Okay. All right. So with that being said, <clears throat> let's get a quick word of prayer before I just go on with this. To the most high, heavenly and divine angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this love, for this opportunity, for this blessing. Thank you for allowing me to come and give the message clear, straight, no chaser. Thank you for using me as a vessel in a clear and open channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the voice, for the words, for the insight, for the clarity. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the abundance. Thank you for all of the blessings. Like I, the list can go on and on and on. I pray, I pray, I pray as always that this message enlightens, uplifts, encourages, strengthens, um, nourishes and nurtures whoever is meant to receive and hear it and see it thank you thank you thank you i pray nothing but the best as i know you will allow and see fit to happen and occur in the lives of whoever is meant to receive this message may it play out as i know it will for the highest good for all involved once again all these blessings i ask come and give thanks ashe 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 all right y'all let me give you a little bit of a uh, <clears throat> history, right? Or maybe not even history, but uh, notes, insight. So the full moon will be occurring, according again, according to Eastern Standard Time, on the 16th of February in the sign of Leo. And actually it's shifting from Leo to Virgo on this day, but it will be occurring at 1156 Okay, 11.56 um, a.m. in the sign of Leo. And then it will be shifting into the sign of Virgo or transitioning into the sign of Virgo at 15, what is that, 43? So that would be 3.43 in the uh, p.m. In the, in the p.m. <laughs> I was going to say in the afternoon. But 15.43 p.m 
or 343. So any of those numbers that I just called out, 11 or a combination thereof, 11, 56, which that's 11, 11 right there potentially. Um, and then in 22 is coming through 1543 or even 343, 343 right there is a powerful palindrome and that's a, a 10, right? Another one. And I'm telling y'all, them ones been screaming to me all month this month. But anyway, the, and then what I say, and then 15, uh, uh, six. So together total, that would be a seven, right? No, 15, four, I can't even do the math. Fif, is that 15 or 18? I think that's 15. I think that's 15. Anyway, um, that's sad when I can't even read my own writing. I got to slow down. I think that's 15. But anyway, so that's not a six. That is, um, well, 15 is a six, but 1543 together, that is a what? 15 again. So, um, no, it's not, child. What is that? <laughs> that's a 13, which is a four, right? Seven and six is 13. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Get it together. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? You may even be a Leo Virgo Cusper or whoever you're dealing with, right? Because that, that energy is powerful. It's, it's like almost even jumping out the paper at me right now. The energy of the full moon or, or really is high both. And I'm going to get into Virgo's energy in a minute or the organs that Virgo um, affects. Leo, if you don't know, affects the heart, aorta, blood pressure and circulatory system. Oh, and that's for somebody. I thought I, I was going to see how long. I was going to tell y'all, let's see how long we go without somebody, right, without hearing the alarm. Because where, I, where I'm where i at right now, there's all kind of action. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you might hear, you're going to hear, I'm sure, some at some point in the video, you may hear an ambulance. You may hear, and as we just heard, the train, in case you can't hear it. Because I try to, to, to block out the background noise as much as possible. But anyway... But that's an alarm that's on time for somebody. So you may truly be a Leo or dealing with a Leo or have feel these effects in um, in reference to your heart, aorta, blood pressure and or circulatory system. I pray nothing but the best for you, especially in any of those areas, because those are major areas and organs. Right. I mean, that's how you live in. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because if your heart is jacked up. You ain't getting your blood where it need to go. Something dying, right? Because that's your oxygen. That's your that's your life source, essentially. Virgo affects the pancreas, small intestine, GI tract. Um, yeah, and GI tract. And um, I was gonna say something about Leo though. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, and and then the A order. Yeah, you can't play with the A order, honey, because that really is like. Mm -mm. you messed that up and you it don't take too long and you gone you know what i'm saying so i pray that all is well that there's no blockages in those areas at all and that's what i was gonna say and moving from the leo to the virgo energy you know that's healing virgo is is the healer right that's why it's no coincidence that i'm strong like i got heavy virgo throughout my chart so prayerfully if you are having issues within those areas any of those areas that i just named you're receiving healing and i just and that's powerful thank you spirit for that message um they just said the release like like i said for any of you who are or may have experienced blockages in any of those areas now is the fine time with the full moon energy to release and remove any blockages anything that may have been blocking you and y'all understand that how can i explain this the surface level issue of diseases or diseases stems from deep rooted issues. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, the energy that we're talking about right now, take Leo or Virgo. Let's just go with Leo since that's what where the full moon will be in that sign at the time, essentially at the time, the highest vibe, let's say. I don't know. Whatever. What I'm trying to say is... So if you have any issues with your heart, let's say, any 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 clots, any um, any uh, plaques, anything like that, check what you have been dealing with emotionally within your relationships, within even your fourth house, 
whatever um, in your fourth house has to do with your family, your mother and older siblings specifically, but it really, it can be honestly anybody um, because it it talks about the home. The number four talk to me talks about, um, like I said, the home, the stability of said home. And y'all, I, I never, like all of these colloquial, colloquial sayings that we say, it never really started to make sense until I really started to think about it. That's why they say home is where the heart is. Quite literally, you don't, it's not even talking about your physical home. Do you even feel at home in your own body, in your own heart? Do you feel stable within yourself? I'm pretty sure if you have issues, you don't. You might tell yourself you do. Mentally, you might think you do. Emotionally, no ma'am, no sir. You wouldn't have the blockages or the issues if you were. You understand? And that's what I mean. It's like the physical manifestations of the symptomology that you feel is what the doctor tells you. You understand what I'm trying to say? spiritually and emotionally your body if you listen to it will tell you oh i pray that makes sense anyway that's just an example same thing if we're talking about the virgo energy within your pancreas for example god forbid but if anybody is experiencing pancreatic cancer y'all that's that's something first of all it's a it's it's one of the quickest um, most rapidly demising cancers, if that's even how I can say it. But the whole thing with any cancer, but you know, especially since we're talking about the Virgo energy, um, that's what sixth house, right? Um, and like I said, that that's even that's your health, your wellness, your well being. So for a cancer to grow, you really haven't been paying attention to your health and haven't been treating yourself right. I don't care where it is, right? Because generally most cancers are slow forming and growing. Now, granted, depending on what all you do, what you put in your body, uh, blase, blase, um, it can uh, trigger them to grow even faster or metastasize, right? Or, 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 yeah, because they feed off, they, they got to have something to feed off of, which is essentially energy. Yeah, <laughs> I can't, I, I don't even know if I can explain it any better than this. But so if you are constantly in a negative state, in a depressive state, in an anxiety state, in, um, you know, uh, um, just low vibe is the best I can describe it. If you're constantly finding yourself in that area then that is why you find yourself with these issues, right? The body loves homeostasis. The body loves balance. Bring in that Libra and energy. You may even be dealing with a Libra or just may need to, I don't know. I don't, definitely need a, need a balancing, need a healing, need something. I don't know. So, um, yeah. I pray that makes sense to whoever, whoever is for, you know, I pray you get it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I needed to say. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, speaking of Libra, cause the moon will be transitioning on the 18th. It will be in waning gibbous two from Virgo to Libra at 22:51. So those, any of those numbers may be important to you. Okay. All right, there's something with them twos too, because they they coming through heavy, just like the ones. And I've been saying that I said that from the get go, from um, all the way back to the new moon, which was on the first, and that's where they're bringing me back to transitioning from Aqua into Pisces on the second. And we did, if you ain't catch, you might want to go back to what was it, three or four? I think episodes four and five, honestly, four and five. But especially four, that's when I was talking about, um, you know, the new moon, I do believe. But anyway, um, so we're going to get on into this, okay? All right, y'all. Now, in getting into this and starting with your headers, you actually got two that came out for you. Um, and I love it. I love it. I love it. We have luck is on your side, the new moon and Sag. 
and communication is key new moon in gemini and this is perfect that's why they probably had me going back to that new moon because you again you got two new moon energies and the, i believe the new moon in gemini came out as the bottom of the deck last episode which was the first quarter moon but i was trying to even in the new moon video i was trying to mix the first quarter in the in the in the new moon like y'all hear it if you ain't watched it go back and watch it but i was trying to smash those two together and i even told y'all that there is something strongly coming through that week the week of the new moon to the first quarter moon it's a major transformation or transition or it's a lot of energy there um something very important is manifesting or you may be trying to manifest something you know because I, I believe i titled that episode said clearly set your intentions and that's the best time to do it is with the new moon and you will see that energy is very very strong for even a, up to a couple of weeks just like the full moon energy so that's why i, I told i think i told y'all maybe in episode two um it might have been the first one i don't know but I, i'm pretty sure it might have been episode two or three but uh i was saying like that's the main reason I even attach time and, and, and chronology to it because to keep it to keep an order of things so that you can follow along um, in case you ever wanted to go back or, you know, just to see how things transpire, because there's definitely an overlap of energy going on here for sure, because we keep seeing the same cards come out. You know what I mean? So anyway, you may be dealing with a this may definitely be confirmation for you, especially if your moon is in Sage and or Gemini. You may be dealing with a, a Sage or Gemini. Um, even if either one of y'all don't have the, your moon sign as such, it's it's one of the heavy hitters. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and or South Node for me. That's what I consider heavy hitters. So it's, it's strong in your chart. You may have both heavy in your chart. I don't know. Um, I can't help but get especially with the new moon and sage and even the sage energy for me that's all about that movement with this arrow it's like man follow your north node that may be some of y'all for real your north node may even be in sage or gemini but i'm feeling stronger sage for the north node but that's what i'm getting it's like follow your nor north node and you will truly see and i don't i don't believe in luck but whatever since it does say look i believe that there's blessings um but since it does say look if you follow your north node you will find so many blessings just literally almost fall into your lap right again as i say it ain't gonna it don't come what they say uh i'm hearing faith without works is dead but it's like you can't be lazy about it you ain't just gonna be you know be able to sit around and do nothing and it fall in your lap nah um too much is what is it too much is given much is earned or something like how whatever that saying go y'all know what i'm trying to say you gotta earn your keep you got to show and prove essentially to the divine that you mean business and you about what you asking for. You know what I mean? And then I, I think I even said, I don't even remember which episode now, but I, I was telling y'all and I always tell y'all this really explore and really know your why. Why do you want this or that or the other? You know what I'm saying? And make sure that it that you have, like I told y'all last episode, or excuse me, the new moon episode, to really be clear with your intentions, be pure with your intentions. God knows your heart. You ain't even really got to say nothing. And if you ain't coming from a pure place, mm -mm. that's funny because we talked, we just talked about that Leo energy in your heart. You got to remove them blockages, that negativity. Because if you're in a low vibe state, baby, you best believe you're gonna you gonna manifest just that negativity too, right? Anyways, um, and as that, that really, really is what the message is, because I, I told y'all when Jim and I, when this communication is key came out at the bottom of the deck, that's, that's why the video was titled set clearly set your intentions. Cause you got to speak exactly what you want and be careful with your words, right? That's why they say, be careful what you wish for. Cause you just might get it. And then some, and are you ready for it is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, we won't beat a dead horse. So let's move on <laughs> to the bottom of the deck energy. And look, this key, well, no, it was actually the full moon. We keep getting, but that Cancerian energy here is what I'm saying that keeps coming through. So, and like I said, y'all, and look, I'm looking at a, um, a spider came out to visit us. Y'all truly may be dealing with a, um, 
a cancerian or may have something to do with your family or your home or whatever okay something very heavy in in like i said fourth house check that okay check it um that's funny because this the spider that i'm looking at looks like this crab <laughs> it does it looks like a baby crab but it says here clearly you and your loved ones are safe so you have nothing to worry about especially if y'all are i don't know because I, I i even said that about Oh Lord, I can't even think of the episode now. But whenever I was talking about that mental energy, um, overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, just worry. It was more anxiety. And um, I was telling y'all, it's something about that aqua energy. It's like, no, you got to cut through that, right? You got to cut that out. Like mentally, especially talking about the king of swords and air energy, um, they are very astute and aware and know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They can kind of see it before it even comes. So it's like, I'm here. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. Like, no. Why are you conflicted? You are okay. So please don't worry. So yeah, so let me let me read to you because I, I almost forgot to even read these to you. Let me find them and then I'll read to you. <clears throat> I think we'll start with the bottom of the deck. Hold on. Okay, so new moon in Cancer first, right? Pages 48 and 49. There's a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be to do with a member of your family, a, flat, a flatmate, excuse me, or a moving house. If you're hoping to move forwards with something, if you're hoping to move forwards with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desires. Okay, I don't even know where I stopped, but <clears throat> I had to let old buddy free. <laughs> anyway, um, if you've been neglecting yourself... <clears throat> If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself. Nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desires. And if you're tuning to the moon, I like to look at these as affirmations, but it says, make sure you put family first. Okay? Make sure you put family first. Additional meanings. Let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your children, for your child or children. It's time to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you banish your insecurities. Spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. Man, I laugh. I'm sorry because that's exactly where I just came. I know y'all probably can't really see. Well, you probably won't be looking at this anyway. But, um... That's why I had to come to one of my peaceful retreats, which for me, it's always by some water. Always. And that is so true. So spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. And maybe because, I mean, I am Cancer Moon, <laughs> according to uh, Western. So mm -hmm. the teaching, the new moon in Cancer can be a super emotional time. The moon is all about emotions and Cancer is a water sign and also very emotional. Saying that the moon is very happy in the sign of Cancer, it's one of her two home signs along with Taurus. So whenever you pull it, this card suggests that whatever happens next will be in your favor. It's especially positive for family matters. That's I, I receive it. Thank you. Woo! Oh, beautiful! A little bluebird just came and flew. It scared me for a second. And it got its worm, honey. It's a cute little bird. Hi. I know if I try to move the camera, it's going to be gone. Yep. This is quick as it swooped down. It's gone. Anyway. Whew. And look, I mean, in fours, even pages 48 and 49 and fours are really standing out. You know, family matters. Take care of them. Okay. All right. Moving on to, I guess we'll just go ahead and go to the new moon and sage first, and then we'll do Gemini. So, luck is on your side, pages 58 and 59. Okay, so you go up by a decade. They go up by 10, right? 
maybe something to do with a decade. <clears throat> I don't know. This may be a decade age difference between you and whoever this family member is or this uh whoever you dealing with. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to be put it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be careful you don't bet the farm on something here, as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up, if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of, of gift, even if that simply means widening your worldview. And y'all, I should have prefaced in the doggone um, uh, disclaimer in the intro. As much as I'm stuttering and stumbling and fumbling over my words, we are still currently in Mercury retrograde and will be for, I don't know, maybe another couple of weeks. So I do apologize. <laughs> Look, sorry, not sorry. It is what it is. You still get the message, I pray. So if you're tuning to the moon, it says, count your blessings, literally, write them down or say them out loud. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, cause that new moon, like <laughs> you got to, not only is it telling you luck is on your side, like, and I told you luck is na name them, but blessings, be grateful. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, thank you for coming through, talking about be humble. Additional meanings, you need to laugh more. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice. <laughs> and this is um, in parentheses, um, for example, via Facebook or journal, excuse me, a journal or blog. The teaching. Sagittarius is a sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius, and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. All right. All right, now. And finally, moving into the new moon in Gemini, 46 and 47. <laughs> It says, a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of their question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Baby, that's what I had to do, honey. Emails, text messages, and, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming, a time to wipe the slate clean and start over. And I'm telling you, they keep talking about this dog on relationships. So who is it, baby? Who is it, y'all? <laughs> but no, it's, it's definitely somebody in your family or somebody you consider family because they keep, they keep saying that. I mean, how many more times do they need to say it? It says this card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. And if you're tuning to the moon, it says, write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Additional meanings for this card. It says, time to tell someone how you feel. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Someone is flirting with you. Read more books. The teaching. Gemini is a sign of communication and socializing of ideas and travel. And the energy around it and around this card, and in parentheses, no matter when you pull it, in parentheses, is speedy, gossipy, and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini love to chat. They sure do. One thing to be aware of is that, and I'm talking about myself, right? <laughs> Thanks to my Gemini moon. Um, one thing to be aware of is that this card and that's Vedic astrology by the way because I know some of y'all probably like wait you just said you was Cancer Moon yes I said in Western okay anyway one thing to be aware of is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered daily met and they have scattered in air quotes daily meditations will help to unscramble cross wires in your brain all right that's the second time they done told y'all to meditate <clears throat> take heed I pray you do 
All righty. Now, <laughs> now, now, now. And moving into the tarot here, y'all. <laughs> I really don't ever like to see this card. But our um, I mean, maybe sometimes, a few times, uh, seldom, I should say. But um, this, I think, is talking about that mental scatter, that um, overthinking, that overanalyzing, just being kind of all over the place. I mean, even just looking at the stuff on the table, it almost looks as if it's all over the place, right? <clears throat> This they're also talking because I'm drawn to those books there. That's what, what they say. Pick up a new book or study. Okay. Research. Do your research. Um, journal even, right? Get your thoughts out and into a cohesive space so that you can free your mind from that um what they call it, scatter, clutter, scramble, whatever. Shoot, that's all of the above, right? Um, because I do see I do see and feel that some of you truly want that your peace of mind look as the train sounds. And I feel like that's what you're after. And if that is such call forth that and be specific, like I said, make sure you speak. Like they said, communication is key. Tell God exactly. Um, you just call him up and tell him what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's an old, old little hymnal. Um, I can hear the old schools like tapping their little feet and singing it though, for real. But it's like, it's like, uh, they're always lit. I mean, you know, God is always there just waiting for you to call, waiting for you to say exactly what you want. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for you to cry out for help, whatever you may need. This is also, I, I, I like to look at this as, because you know, I try to see the good and all right. More, hmm, how do I need to say this? Traditionally, most readers see the seven of swords as being like a sneaky, lying, manipulative type of energy, which that it can be. It doesn't have to be. Again, this is the energy. I'm getting Geminian energy strong anyway, especially with that communication is key card. And, um, you know, Gemini got two sides. You can you can be in which is very valuable. I'm not knocking either one of the sides. You know, people try to give Gemini bad reps because they be like, you know, they flip mode, whatever, whatever. But it's there's a reason. You understand? There's a reason for everything. You need the light and the dark. You know what I'm saying? You need the shadow and the, you know what I'm saying, the angel, if you will. I not that either one of them needs to be the angel or the shadow, if that makes any sense, because they both it. You know what I'm saying? But you need, there's the reason for the twins. You need both of them. <clears throat> because I just heard uh, uh, one is rational or analytical and one is grounded. You know what I'm saying? Balanced. Because if you don't know, Gemini is a true air sign. and can be all up in their head. But they need that other side, the other half to bring them back down to earth a little bit. So they ain't too flighty. You know what I mean? Anyway, what I'm getting to is that they are also very, very, this can, I'm also getting, uh, 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 it could be aqua or Libra, but I was getting ready to say, I'm also getting that aqua vibe too, which is like, I just told y'all about that King of air needing that mental balance and understanding when and what to cut out, you know what I'm saying? And, and what to let go of, especially mentally, because you are maybe too much in the clouds and not really bringing it back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? Not really grounding yourself mentally. Um, because you may be seeing where you have been, I heard self manipulative, but even maybe manipulate, manipulating, excuse me, others, or even the situation to try to get your way, knowing that don't work. Right. Um, now sometimes I will say, cause manipulation, even that word in and of itself, obviously, you know, we tend to hear it or see it as more of a low vibe type of thing, but what I like to, like I said, I like to see the good and all. I, I'm seeing it and hearing it as taking on strategizing, being more strategic in how you move and what you do and the words that you use because you know and realize prayerfully now that your words are power. Your words are literally spells. And if you using the wrong terms or saying the wrong things, especially with uh, um, a, uh, a, uh, impure not pure heart 
like I said from the get go, y'all will manifest that at a low vibe if that's where you are. You understand what I'm saying? So I think and how I want to see this and how I'm choosing to see this, which that's interesting because I said from the get go when I was like, what is going on? I kind of felt myself like in that flighty, like I almost didn't know if I was coming or if I was going, you know what I'm saying? That kind of indecisive type of energy. Um, it was almost like I just heard confusion and illusion. And that's why, because, but now it's like, I'm, uh, I find myself, even as I'm trying to get this message out to you, I find myself really slowing my mind down to find the right words to say. And I, that's exactly what some of y'all are doing. That's powerful. That's interesting. Thank you. But anyway, and you may even want to really utilize eucalyptus, which is very, very, very powerful. It, I mean, you'll see, I'll have um, the benefits and you probably already seen it by now as much talking as I've been doing, but, but uh, you'll see the benefits of it. Uh, but it's powerful because it's used in a lot of cold remedies. So it, this will help your throat chakra for sure. And for, for you to be able to, as I get, as I get choked up for you to be able to clear your throat and really speak clearly, you know what I'm saying? Authentically say what you need to say and want to say to whoever it is. Cause y'all already know you've been told communication is the key. Okay. Moving on to the bottom of the deck energy here. And we see we have the beautiful nine of earth come back out to join us again. This came out last episode with the, what was it? Two of cups, I believe. <clears throat> and I told y'all then a wish fulfillment, um, a, um, a contractual fulfillment, honestly. Some of y'all, y'all may be, okay, y'all may be signing new contracts. It's definitely coming into fruition. And, as, and ooh, speaking of, I'm going to just show y'all a glimpse of the, um, the uh, what you call it, the finisher. This thing came through three, three times in a row, <laughs> three times in a row, like for real, three episodes now, this thing came out. That's what I'm saying. It's a, definitely an overlap of energy. And the vibe is heavy, baby. So whatever you set your intentions for it during the new moon, ooh we. I feel like for many of y'all, y'all getting rapid manifestations, honey. Y'all said bunt waiting to the fall. I want <laughs> I want it and I want it now. What's that commercial? Whatever. Y'all want y'all sh now. Y'all collecting now. Pay up is what I just heard somebody say with your hand out, stomping your foot. Like, where is that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But um, but this is because you really don't worked hard. You don't worked hard on yourself because this nine energy is really that solo dolo vibes. It's um, yeah. I don't think it really got to do. I told y'all last episode that uh, in which honestly it still does for some for many of y'all got to do with somebody else. But I truly feel I tried to explain it whenever I referenced it in the other video is like. Although it may have something to do with someone else, this is still very much so a personal, um, I just heard endeavor. Dang. And then I heard vendetta. Uh oh. Y'all be careful. Cause I, I'm telling y'all, I do, I felt somebody, it may just be a few somebodies who really trying to, um, y'all in more in that little lower vibe side of the scale trying to get what you want by any means necessary and you got a personal vendetta to get to try to reap your benefits but i'm telling you honey baby mark my word it's gonna backfire on your ass so um or whoever is doing this if it's not you you might want to warn them especially if you know about it i don't i don't know you might not shoot because they're gonna have to go through it regardless you know what i'm saying because you literally like it said what it say in the um was it the new moon in cancer that wheel still spinning. So you best be careful. Mm -hmm. They trying to tell you. Anyway, moving on. Oh no, back to the back to the bottom of the deck to the apples. Um, so you are really benefiting. That's the that's abundant energy to me. The apple is the fruit of the earth. You are receiving and achieving your fruit. You know what I'm saying? Your earth is your body, is your temple. 
that the apples very much so will help you detox apple ap, apple away apple a day keeps the doctors away so for real y'all it helps with everything and especially with this virgo because this is virgo energy that's powerful thank you for that message spirit this is virgo energy this is like the mini empress if you will or the empress in training i feel like um to be quite honest even though empress energy is that libran can be that libran or even taurian energy either way what i'm getting to is that this is the healing that you may need for real and to detox and i told y'all virgo um affects the pancreas small intestine and the gi tract in apples they help all that you know what i'm saying they help everything really but especially that because they would keep you going that good old fiber they keep you cleaned out they keep you detox they they help you get rid of and especially for this full moon energy you're gonna want to get rid of things that are no longer serving you so baby i will tell you to eat all the apples you want baby drink that apple juice <laughs> make sure it ain't got too much sugar though but um for real you know detox yourself okay and I feel like y'all probably really truly do got something to do with a Virgo. Because look, 12, 12 on the um on the clock. Oh, or even a Pisces. Check your 12th house. Um, and your first and second. Your rising. Some of y'all may be Virgo rising. Uh uh, who else? Pisces even. Pisces rising. Or or moons. Virgo or Pisces moon. Something, something. Cause this 12 energy and, and the ones and twos y'all hit me with that again <laughs> just like the other video the other like day before day before yesterday episode before last or something i don't know maybe even last episode too i was saying all this because you know the nine of earth did come out in last episode so i think that's that on that moving on and like i said here we go again <laughs> okay i don't feel like i feel like y'all just need to press rewind if y'all want to hear everything that i already you know that i have to say with this car i feel like i just need to go on to the book honestly and go back to the last episode and push rewind and play back so you can hear that again you know what i mean but here we go again with this fruition i heard here i go again on my own i don't know how that song go but y'all know what i'm talking about Somebody, some of y'all, like I said, with that new moon and sage energy, y'all, y'all really want to jump out there on an adventure on your own, or you might be, I don't know, when you resolve this issue or this family, whatever this, whoever this relationship is with, whatever you got going on, then that will be your cue. You know what I'm saying? Once you get that balance, once you, you might, oh okay, you might be moving homes on your own. I don't know. It's something about that though in the home and, and family and something, something, something. I don't know. Uh you might be building a new home for your family. Um, that may be what you're trying to bring into fruition. You've been thinking long and hard about it because this basket, this this beautiful abundance um of wisdom and knowledge and clarity that's on her crown chakra is like you seeing it now. Thank God, you know. It's been a long time coming, but you you seeing it and it's done. That 37 again a 10. Cause what we have in the in the um I feel like one of y'all times. Was it 343? Yeah. That's another 10. Okay. Them threes are coming through pretty heavy. Harvest moon is during the fall. Uh, <clears throat> during the autumnal equinox. So this may be when everything will be ready and set to go. Um like this may be when you reap the benefits or the rewards or when your luck is coming through with that new moon and sage in it. Oh, okay. It truly may be, um, <clears throat> what like November, December ish. Yeah. Likely possibly. Okay. <clears throat> um, remove the mask that's what i always get with this like she's gorgeous i feel like there's so much beauty your authentic self is so beautiful and it's time to stop hiding that from the world that's why i feel like they want you to embody that sage energy because they don't give a flying flip they gonna be the life of the party don't they don't care who like it you know what i mean i love that though be that you know embody that mm, okay there's some stuff that you are going to have to let go, especially with this, like right now with this being the full moon, 
um i just i, I can't help but that that white kind of like i said i never know i never knew i always thought it was butterflies but it may just be debris or like the um the seeds from the flowers or so, whatever is in her crown in her adornment that may be what that is i don't know but i get the energy of detoxing of purifying letting things go you know what i'm saying letting it transform um like out with the old you know in with the new and that's essentially what you do during harvest season right you you get all your abundance you pull up all the crops so that winter time the ground can be purified you know <clears throat> it does what it needs to do clear it out it's barren that's why the leaves fall and everything you know everything goes barren and i love the snow to come through with that um metaphor and that energy to cleanse it you know and to replenish the earth right um and that's essentially what i feel like this is this is saying this is doing and, and it for us to get that seven of swords or seven of air the eucalyptus and the tarot it very well needs to be a mental cleansing i feel like i said letting go of the negative them low vibe thoughts that depression that anxiety whatever um letting go of that um sabotaging uh low vibe self-talk you know and bringing forth the this abundance speaking exactly what you intend to create in your life or over your life okay i pray that makes sense moving on into the bottom of the deck for your finisher here we have green corn moon patience oh my god y'all that's just crazy this is it just hit me like I just journaled this this morning, quite literally. It's a lot going on in my personal life right now, at least what I feel like. I mean, I know I'm not going through it for me. I know I'm not, but I'm still going through it nonetheless, right? And um, despite the situation, it's like I know even, even though I still feel like frustrated, irritated, just not really angry or upset it's just like i said frustrated and irritated is really probably the best ways that i can explain it because it's just like for what i'm having to do or what i feel like i have to do to even just rectify the situation is like it's nonsense it's useless mm, i wouldn't say useless i'm i'm sorry but it's it's still to me ridiculous it's absurd it's like for what and why are you having me do this again Make it make sense, Sway. It does not make sense. For conformity, for... I mean, I know I know why they feel like they, they are making me do this or, you know, trying to tell me to do this. But at the same time, it's like, but damn, Sway, do you even know why you're trying to tell me to do this? Why are you trying to tell me to do this? No, you don't. And it does not make sense because if you if you really read what I've already sent and done to even handle the issue, you know good and damn well that it is pointless. Mm. But anyway, that's why I said frustrating and irritating because but but when I journaled this morning, I literally that's I said I was like, you know, just when I thought I had learned patience. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. God is funny. God, man. God has a funny way of showing you lessons. Mm hmm. That's the song. And that's so funny because when all this hit the fan, I woke up with that song on my heart and my mind. Uh, uh, it got all the big hitters in there Raheem Devine, Anthony Hamilton. Um, yeah, I'm going to link it in here. And I think I done played it for y'all before. But anyway, the way that the song even starts is God has a funny way of showing what. How do you say it? Um, dang. Basically, he's talking about God will show you and take you through things, right? But they are not necessarily meant for you. You understand? But it is meant for you to learn and grow through it. And that's why I be telling y'all, I know that I be my life experiences, just like anybody else's really, a lot, some of our life experiences aren't really meant for us to take it personally. Like you really shouldn't take anything personally. However, y'all know how we do it, it, and it's and it's not even necessarily meant for us personally. You know what I'm saying? That lesson may not even be for us. 
the lesson and I, it, it's beautiful because I even I even spoke with my um, nail technician about that very thing. It's like she was saying how she experienced a certain what would be very much so traumatic to most. But she understood that it wasn't even about her. Like she understood she went through it for not just for herself, but for others. Right. And that's why I'll be trying to tell y'all, I go through a lot of the stuff I go through and, and naturally as a healer, as a, as a, um, a spiritual leader or warrior or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it, we go through a lot because we are here and meant to lead and guide others through it. Like we lead in the, you know what I'm saying? We, we, the shepherd, if you will. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-mm-mm. But so even even with me knowing that it's it still doesn't make it what you're going through, what we're going through, what I'm experiencing, it still doesn't make it um, any less effective as far as how it how it affects our emotions, our mood or, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say but I had to I had to get that out. And that's what they that's why they were saying that's exactly the thank you for this message oh it makes so much sense now that's exactly why <laughs> and mind you y'all i done did i done pulled these without going all long and in, in, into a whole lot of um detail of how i do things but i um i try to when i sit down and do you know to, to do these readings or whatever for the sake of time and to get my stuff in order so that I can get it out to you when I do, I, um, I do, I try to do the whole month ahead, right? At least get the cards pulled. And then whenever I am able to at a later date, whenever I'm really not even able, whenever I'm called to at a later date, that's when I do the actual voiceover or the, um, the channel messages, right? Um, so it's a process just like everything else and the, the what i'm trying to get y'all to understand is that the message has already been downloaded i guess or maybe not even downloaded but like delivered or prepared right spirit has already worked it out to say or to deliver what is meant to be delivered to me however it's given in in segments and pieces in sections so that I am able to receive it clearly, right? Because if I had to, y'all, if I had to experience all that shit, <laughs> sorry, sorry, spirit, but they, they already know. If I had to experience, uh, they know, they know, they know they won't put more on you than you can bear because I'm already going through some things. And that's the thing that the whole message too applies to me. Like, I have to too take time to nurture and heal, like it said in the new moon. And uh, what did it say? Which one was that? Sage or no? Gemini? No, either one. Wherever they're telling us to 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 really nurture, like take time. Maybe it's new moon of Cancer when they said not only for your family but for yourself. If you haven't taken the time out to nurture and you know nurture and take care and heal yourself, then you need to do that. And that's exactly why. Because when I the the whole frustration and irritation, I said all that story about what I'm going through. Because that's I they've set up this break in time for me to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Because otherwise, I wouldn't even be here being able to do this voiceover for you today. I would be somewhere else busying myself, being in that stressed out, anxiety, you know, type of energy, worrying about useless shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying the, what i was just trying to call useless but it's not useless that's why i said i didn't want to use that word um it, it, it in in I, I guess nonsense is really more the word or like i said it's it's absurd for what they're trying to have me do now the whole purpose of the lesson though that's a different story now that's powerful that's a blessing because with this as the overall underall energy this is the whole purpose of the lesson y'all as the rain comes back thank you thank you thank you god thank you thank you thank you oh my gosh
Let it go, y'all. Just let it go. That's the power and the energy behind this full moon. Let it go. It's okay. It's truly okay. You don't have to hold on so tight. You don't have to fight. You don't. You don't. I do. I hear surrender. Surrender. Really let go and let God. Let your spirit squad work it out. You done put in the work. You done did everything you were meant to do. Whoa. Because that's what I had to ask. Like, you know, I laughed about it just a few seconds, minutes ago. Like, because, damn, like, I, I know I've been patient. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I can honestly say, I at times I have lost sight for trying to fight so hard to get to my harvest. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why God is like, no, like, baby, you done did it. Just let it just now watch us work. That's exactly what they say. Watch, watch us work. Thank you, my good and faithful servant. <laughs> Now look, and that's beautiful because how she's walking to this, and that's 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 a full moon back there that she's walking towards that release. You know what I'm saying? The 36 potentially is a nine, and I'm telling y'all this. Y'all been on this man with her by herself. She been on this mission solo dolo, and that's powerful because I pray. I said, Lord, show me like the red flags, literally, quite literally. Look at that balloon. Mm, mm, mm. that's it I don't know I can't really I don't know and maybe this is this part is really just meant for me but what I will say is that y'all already know what red flags are that's your sign like it ain't that ain't it ain't working out but it ain't it ain't even got to be quite literal as in a flag even though that's kind of how I was intending for it to be right <laughs> but Spirit also told me, stay open, be open to, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know, just you, you'll know the thing about it is you'll know when the message and word is for you. Cause you'll be moved in a way you can't deny it either. Cause that's what I, that's exactly what I said too. I said, please show me the red flags to where I cannot deny. It will be undeniable. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. But it's like, y'all, too, you've been holding on to them red flags, right? Like I said, it's time to let go. Let that balloon fly. It, it, it likely was stopping you. You know what I'm saying? That seven in the air, especially if you was more in that self-sabotaging type of vibe. It was it was halting you. It was getting in the way. <laughs> what happened? What guy just heard? It's getting in the way of what I'm feeling. Yeah, you got to let it go. Let it fly, let it pop, you know? Anyway, let me go ahead and read to you um, from these. Okay, I was telling y'all about that 36 and that patience, though, that, um, you know, that is going back to that nine, that nine of earth to me. And But that nine can also be talking about, I think I might have said, uh, alluded to it a little bit, but that nine can also be that, like, that solo dolo journey type of energy. As you see, she's walking alone. You know, it's a, you going to have to do that sometimes, especially if you're trying to do anything. I wouldn't say anything, but if you trying to like really do some introspection, self-learning and healing and all that stuff. Uh, speaking of that Virgo energy, you are going to have to do it alone. I'm just like, because there's no better way to really reach you and to. To, to, to get your attention or to talk to you or for you to receive the messages if you aren't alone right because a lot of times when you even when you with somebody else unless they are 
that unless they unless y'all on the same level or same vibe where you understand you need to because i kept telling y'all to meditate anyway and sometimes you can't really do that with a whole bunch of people you know what i'm saying because you you just get distracted especially this day and age everybody be like they got adhd tendencies you know what i'm saying so um and it's by design i know this but but basically what i'm saying is you you really gonna have to spend that alone time go into your prayer closet you know what i'm saying that's literally or metaphorically okay but anyway so let me go ahead i think i want to start with um i guess we'll start with fruition pages 90 and 91 speaking of those nines y'all and those tens uh, or the ones harvest moon fruition as the seasons turn there's always a time when all the potential of the spring beginnings is manifest the crops will grow tall and are ready to harvest, and they have done this from a fallow field into which we have planted seeds. The trees have flowered, and now there is fruit to pick. It is time for the harvest. And then the affirmation that I, I love that they do this, um, it says, I welcome the joyous fruition of all the intentions I set. Once again, I welcome the joyous fruition of all the intentions I set. And um, I meant to tell y'all... Um, I think I did maybe earlier. I don't know. I can't, I really cannot remember as I go through these videos, what I done said and what I have and what I channel and what I don't. But um, these have companion stones or crystals with them. And you probably done already seen. But as we as I go through reading the card itself, I will. Um, what's the word? I will. You will see the various uh, stone and crystal crystals. Um you will scroll they will be scrolling through on your screen okay i don't know why it's so hard for me to really get this find my words and get this. i mean i do know i told y'all we in mercury retrograde but good god all right when we are able to bring something to fruition whether it be planting a project or changing ourselves it is the perfect time to celebrate all that we are grateful for and to mark our achievement we may have worked very hard to bring this new situation into reality we may have been patient in the way we have worked over time and sacrificed much to make it happen. Y'all laugh because what it say? We may have been patient and we got patience as the bottom of the deck. No coincidence, baby. None whatsoever. So for those of you who truly you might have manifested this last fall and you know, you or even a year ago, like not this past, not 20, not technically 2021 fall, but um, 2020 fall i don't know honey but trust me it's coming it's coming if you haven't seen it already the whole point of it is the patience okay and that can be a, the tough that, that not even can be i feel like that is the toughest lesson baby Uh uh. that's why i said be careful what you wish for because you just might get it and then some and personally that is what I had that not even a hat. Well, yes, it is. That is what I've had to learn and grow through because that is what I manifested and wished for. Cause I had to as a leader and you know what I'm saying? I, I, mm, and I've become very, very, very patient, very patient. Y'all I'm telling you, <laughs> Woo, I'm proud of myself. I got to pat myself on the back because that, Oh my God. My family can tell you, honey. Mm -hmm. They know I'm different. And I'm I'm proud about it. Okay? I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Yes. Anyway, so we may have been patient in the way we have worked over time and sacrificed much to make it happen. The harvest moon is a time to be happy about our success and to share it with others. Our ancestors would dance and sing and have community festivals of thanks, all to celebrate the fruition of all that hard work and to thank the gods for their assistance. These times of high, and I just had to, y'all, even on the way over here, I was just like, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your protection, for your guidance, for your leadership through it all. Thank you for being here with me and helping me and strengthening me. Like, I just give thanks for every little thing. These times of high energy are also times to really focus on your body as they can be quite taxing on our systems. If we don't take care, it is often the time we go, oh, excuse me, I always miss this line up. If we don't take care, it is often the time we can get ill. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I said 
even as frustrating as it seems to me, I am grateful for this break in this time because I needed it. They knew I needed it. I wouldn't have took it otherwise. So they forced me. And I know it has nothing to even do with the entity or even the people I'm dealing with. It has nothing to do with them. They only pawns in this whole thing to show me. <laughs> show me the way. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Hmm. This moon normally falls on the moon closest to the autumn equinox in the northern hemisphere. And the companion stone or metal is garnet. And I will read from the book in regards to garnet, which you've probably already seen several of the varieties of them pass on your screen already. But I will read that in just a moment. Let me finish with green corn moon. The number 36, ooh, yes, on pages 88 and 89, 888, baby. That's the powerful Lionsgate portal energy. Definitely dealing with a Leo because this full moon is in Leo. Don't forget that. Oh, my God. And then it transform, uh, transform, well, yeah, transforms and transitions into the Virgo healing energy. I love it. Thank you. It says, enjoy the journey, not just the destination. The time has come to learn patience and avoid the lure of instant gratification. Slow down. That's what it says. Take your time. And oh my God, that is what I journaled today. Y'all, I'm not lying. Let me read to you this, this little snippet. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Oh my Lord. Okay, let me see. It says, I thought I said... <laughs> I said, Grand Rising, in my Marvin Gaye's voice, what's going on? I said, nah, really. I'm feeling a bit frustrated and have been over the past few days. So much so, my body is in a state of stress and showing it. I know this is all a test, but it still doesn't make it feel or seem that much better. I knew it was coming, too. Okay? I knew it was coming, too. And then I go on to say, <laughs> look, I said... Just when I thought I had learned about patience, I really just wanted to get this off of my chest so that I can so that I can clear this mess and restore my body. I know that this is for me to sit down, slow down and reevaluate. I'm hearing, quote, take your time, end quote. That's literally what I wrote. Oh, my God. And look, then I said, now I'm really getting distracted because I was going all over the place. So I, so I ended up wrapping up my that entry this morning um and i told y'all that's kind of like the same energy <laughs> that was when i really just had to pack up and go that was my cue to to you know take off do what i need to do and i was guided here oh no coincidence okay so anyway let's see where was i so yeah and i heard when i when i read slow down i heard uh is that bobby v slow down i just want to get to know you yeah so that's what spirit is really just trying to get you to, to know you, to know yourself, um, reevaluate your journey in your process and your progress, um, to really just see how far you've come. Cause I keep hearing, look where he brought me from. And it's just like, and be grateful for that. You've done very well for that. For, for y'all to just put me in tears. The energy to just put me in tears like that. Baby. Mm, 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 mm. Be proud. Be very proud of how far you've come. Because I, again. So glad I made it. So glad I made it. So glad I made it through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So things are happening. You just can't see it yet. Be loving and patient with your body. The, the um, I was about to say manifestation. The affirmation. I take my time to enjoy the journey. I love it. And I heard as I read that, I hear Londrell. I take my time. I, I'm manifesting some. Yeah. I'm manifesting money. Yeah, that's what I hear. I take my time. I do my... What did he say? 
I don't know, but y'all, I'm, I re, I'll link it if I remember. So I take my time to enjoy the journey. It says patience is a kind of faith in foreseeing. <laughs> Told y'all I seen it coming. So it's not like I should even be surprised, you know. But again, I still got to experience it. And I love what a uh, soulful revolution said. She was like, you know, um, feel the feel the emotion and then tra- let it go, like transmute it, because it's honor it, right? Because a part of you somewhere, you know, has whatever for whatever reason, whether you have adapted this energy or vibe, or I always say adapted, adopted. Whether you have taken it on from somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Especially as empaths, whether you have um, even had to adapt, you know, yourself because of this as a protective mechanism, let's say, especially with that seven of air energy, um, whether you, whatever the reasoning is for you even feeling like you, a part of you has justified the re- why you feel this way or for feeling this way, Right. And that's okay, but but don't stay there is what she was saying, because you will find yourself stuck there if you're not careful, okay? And um and, and that's where you'll get in that depression, that anxiety, and I think she even talked a little bit about that, right? You can't change nothing from the past, baby, so let it go. And you can't do nothing about the future, so why are you even worried about it? <laughs> don't worry about that, sweetheart, you know? All right. We might see... So patience is a kind is a kind of faith in foreseeing. We might see the seed, but we foresee the flower. We might see the books on the table in that seven of air, but we foresee the degree at the end if we read them. If we think physically, we might feel the pain of a hard workout, but foresee and have faith in the muscle and fitness levels we will build. Patience is a way of experiencing the process of fruition. Oh my God. Y'all see how this work, right? I just read fruition. <laughs> I ain't yelling at y'all. I'm just excited. It's, it's, I just love how they do. For some of us, we choose what is quick and easy. We may choose activities we know will be good. we will be good at. These require no big process, no great challenge over time, and so no great achievement, even if we are good at them. More difficult is a kind of patience and mastery where the skills or learning take time to accrue. And this is where the beauty of patience is born. Hmm, I feel that. When we truly realize the power of patience, we understand the power of gaining something incredibly deep and embedded rather than the quick hit of instant gratification. There's a great power in going slow. There's also the lifelong benefit of the power of trusting that you can hold a focus for a time for something big. For some of us, Learning a physical skill enables us to fall in love with our bodies again, seeing it change and try over and over. We recognize its magnificence in all its weirdness, wonkiness, strength, weakness, and inherent wisdom. We get to feel the process and the miracle. And if our body doesn't quite get it and we run out of patience, well, nasty self-talk is the last thing I would throw at it. What'd I say? After all, my body is not my enemy. Instead, I throw compassion and trust at it, the compassion that it is doing its best right now, and the trust that will get me to where I want to go, even if that is, quote, eventually. (laughs) I've learned to be patient. The green corn moon encourages us to watch for growth and enjoy patiently the journey of growth. Wow, thank you for that. While we may not yet be at fruition, we are on the way. And that's perfect because that's essentially where she's headed. Y'all see how these cards line up? That's where she's she's going towards fruition. <laughs> if she just goes through that portal energy, that 888 portal, that may be when you receive your manifestation, your fruition during the Lionsgate portal or even in the fall, whatever. Oh, we thank you. The companion stone or metal is jade. And let me get to the crystal book and I'll read to you from there as well, okay? All right, you guys. So we will start with Garnet here, pages 36 and 37. And it reads, Found as a dodecahedral in trapezoidal crystals and combinations, masses and layered plates. Plates are in quotes. Colors include red, pink, eudolite, 
pink or red rhodolite, green grossularite, emerald green uvarovite, uh -uh, black melanite, orange spessartine, red or purple almondine, greenish yellow andradite, and yellow and brown hessonite. For details, refer to the specific crystals. And like I said, which you've probably already seen, I have them flowing throughout the video on your screen. Okay. Um, astrological associations, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And I already told y'all that Leo, Virgo, that's right on time, baby. There's no coincidence. These cards come out for a reason. The chakra is the heart. And what I've been telling y'all, we've been talking about this. Some of y'all really may need this to remove blockages to help heal your heart, heal any diseases within your heart or even circulatory system. And of course, even the areas that Virgo affect, right? The pancreas, GI, small intestine, all that, okay? Healing qualities brings courage, creative energy, vitality, abundance. We saw that with that fruition, right? Flow, change, and awareness. Physically, it helps anemia, arthritis, blood cleansing slash detox. I'm telling y'all, didn't it? This all the circulatory, right? Essentially, blood flow, low blood pressure, rheumatism, underactive thyroid, and deficiencies of iodine, calcium, magnesium, and vitamins A, D, and E. Enhances the health of the bones, spine, heart, and lungs. Balances sex drive. And the lungs, y'all, that's Gemini area. That's what Gemini affects or rules or whatever. You know, however you want to say that or see that. And we already saw the, uh, what the heck, the communication is key, right? Emotionally or spiritually, it brings emotional balance, helps depression, chaos, disruption, and emotional trauma. Healing that heart, right? It's good for magic and spiritual devotion. I'm telling y'all. And like I said, you will see the various varieties also listed in their healing qualities too. Because they may be similar. Um, it may There may be different signs um, associated with it. They may help with different chakra systems um, and or more in-depth um, areas or regions or illnesses or diseases, right? Okay, so moving on to... The beautiful jade oh my gosh this is straight hearth healing hearth healing heart healing <laughs> i don't know what i was trying to mix together and this is beautiful it reminds me of like malachite or something i don't know you know they kind of they both will help with the heart chakra oh i feel it y'all i feel it even just it's like radiating off of this page and i'm telling y'all y'all you don't even have to go out and purchase any of these stones or crystals if you don't have them you can very well just screenshot utilize the pictures um whatever you need to do you know to bring forth this energy or vibe so don't think that you got to have all this stuff because you don't um now if you want to make herbs or tinctures or salves or anything else i mean uh, herbs if you want to make tincture salves or any kind of healing um holistic uh homemade remedy jesus <laughs> uh with the herbs now that's a different story you you will need to find what you're looking for i will say that rosemary is um the universal donor if you will of the herb family right just like clear quartz if you have that is the universal donor of the crystal family meaning you can transmute whatever you're needing into that herb and or stone okay and utilize it however you see fit for it too and then you can um you can um um magnify the power of that energy under the sun be careful with that just because you know just be careful with um, too much heat right under the full moon and or new moon depending on what you're trying to do okay so keep that in mind jade found as masses oh page 45 by the way found as masses in many colors including green orange brown blue cream white lavender red gray and black types of jade include jadeite and nephrite and then it says, note, new jade is actually bowenite, okay? And jadeite is actually on this page, same page, so I may read that to you when we're done. 
Um, astrological associations include Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Libra. That's probably why I was getting that Libra energy. But anyways, chakra includes the heart. Okay. Healing qualities. This is a good first stone for a child. It aids problem solving and helps proneness to accidents and reaching dreams, goals, and ideas or ideals. It brings balance, justice, modesty, courage, wisdom, compassion, and longevity. I love that. That's that Leo energy coming through too, though, a little bit. So physically, it's good for the skin, hair, lymphatic system, bones, joints, hips, spleen, bladder, heart, immune system, gallbladder, kidneys, muscles, and the entire female reproductive system. It helps acne, fertility, PMS or premenstrual syndrome, menstrual problems, period pain, asthma, bacterial and viral infections, eye disorders, general malaise, high blood pressure, and schizophrenia. That's why I'm feeling that Leo energy too, by the way, with the with the circulatory and the blood pressure and all that. Um, not to mention the courage it said earlier, right? So emotionally or physically, or excuse me, emotionally or spiritually, it's good for emotional balance, confidence and grounding, helps negativity, promotes dreams and dream recall. And in parentheses, they said when placed under the pillow, in parentheses, it also brings connection to ancient civilizations and wisdom, protection, peace, both inner and outer and shamanic access to spirit worlds y'all it's such such healing such a healing stone all right and then jadeite it's a type of jade forming mass in rare small elongated prismatic crystals colors include various shades of green purple or lavender white brown red orange yellow gray and black the colors sometimes mix in pattern or vein the rock okay astrological association is aries the chakra is the heart. Healing qualities. It's good for magic and mending relationship. Yes, that's why they wanted me to read it. Because I'm telling you, that's all they've been talking about is your relationships, right? Whoever, family especially, but whoever. It's good for magic and mending relationships. Good for use in groups. Physically, <clears throat> it's good for the testicles. Helps high blood pressure, post-operative healing, cramps, and restless leg syndrome. Okay? All right, y'all. Now, um, the other one is nephrite. Actually, they got bow and I in um, nephrite in here, but I'll just have those go. <clears throat> I won't take the time to read through both of those. I'll just have them. You'll see them on your screen, though, probably. So I'm just going to leave it there, my babies. And I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that it resonates with you. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, especially including yourself, though. And whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. Thank you for your time and attention and just for lending me your ear. I truly love you and appreciate you for that. If you want to join me for another day or even another series or whatever else you're in search for, if this didn't resonate or wasn't your cup of tea you can check out any of the other playlists on my um channel i do have um pick a cards and even zodiac readings if you are interested in those um go check it out okay and if you are joining me for another day you can check out the link down low in the in the um description box i will see you there and if not please take care until the next one y'all be easy please do not forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right until the next one, be easy. Don't forget to be gentle and nourishing to yourself, okay? All right, y'all. Deuces. Deuces.